here in front of the VLC 200 GT yeah. from EMAC. Yeah. What does the model represent? Well, the 200 uh, GT is a pickup machine which is suitable for churning and grinding. That means it's a machine which is suitable for combined machining. And for our viewers in England, this might be a new machine to them. So can you tell us why the component is held upside down and not in a conventional yeah. manner? Well, we build these pickup machines for at least uh, 25 years uh, right now. And uh, the machines are good because they load themselves. That means they pick up the part from the conveyor uh, somewhere and then uh, move the part to the stations in the machines, to the tools. And you're turning, hard turning in fact, yeah. and grinding on this yeah. machine, both internally and externally. Yeah. For that, you know, we've got to keep the machining environment, we've got to keep the temperature stable. How is this achieved? Well, uh, of course, we normally use coolant in the machine and we have to uh, keep the uh, temperature of the coolant on a constant level so we achieve the same quality. Moreover, uh, we uh, cool also the components as the spindles to keep them on a constant level of temperature. And that's very important to, get, to uh, achieve this constant level. And what's the typical component for this machine? Uh, you know, I don't want to know what customers buy this, but what components are being manufactured? Well, at the end, round parts, especially gears, and here we grind especially the bore diameter, we turn the face, and we do some OD grinding maybe at the cone here of, of these gear parts. That's, this is really a typical part for this machine. And that's heat treated? Well, that's normally heat treated. It's normally uh, hardened uh, before uh, this process. That means we do a hard turning and a grinding. We also have some parts we, where we do some soft machining. And what would the cycle time be on this component? Well, normally the cycle time is around one minute, something like this, maybe 45 seconds. It depends on how much uh, work we have to do in the machine. And I know a lot of your competition, they're loading the machine with a gantry loader. Yeah. I like your solution, it looks a lot quicker. Yeah. So how long yeah. would it take to load? Well, loading uh, normally depends on the clamping system you use. Normally, if you uh, clamp the part on the OD, diameter you need let's say six to eight seconds maybe if you have to go in between the teeth then you need nine seconds or something like this and if we look at the turret there's lots of driven tools on there what sort of uh, driven tools can we have is it four y axis or, or just milling capability well uh, normally we have we have uh, milling tools uh, in here or a drilling drilling tool uh, Mostly these machines are equipped without uh, driven tools uh, because normally we do only the hard turning and the grinding. And uh, these operations uh, as drilling are normally done in the soft. How customizable is the uh, turret on this machine? Well, at the end you can equip the turret with uh, 12 t tools. At the end, of course, there is an option uh, to use also live tools as drilling drilling tools if it's necessary for this operation. But typically, it's a hard turning machine without any uh, live tool operations. So these parts are coming off complete. How yeah. can we ensure the accuracy of the components? Well, uh, at the end, we use a, a measuring probe in the machine. That means we can operate, especially, or for example, we can do the hard turning, we can do the grinding in the machine, and then in the clamping, we can measure the diameter of the part and say, OK, the part is good or the part is not good. We have to uh, maybe regrind uh, this diameter. And the other thing to mention, it's a very ergonomic design, isn't it? It's a very small machine for, for this technology. Well, we integrated uh, two grinding spindles and one turret in the machine. It also loads itself uh, with a conveyor and therefore we have a very compact machine uh, at the end. Therefore bringing the cost of the part down? Well, uh, cost per part is a very good argument for this machine because you can choose the right tool for the operation. That means if it's cheaper to just turn the part, you can just turn with this machine. And if it's cheaper to just grind it, you can just grind the, uh, the part. And if it's at the end the cheapest to turn a few, things and to grind a few things then you can do this also with this machine. 
ultimate flexibility. Yes, it is. <laughs> Very flexible. Uh, you can equip, equip the machine, of course, uh, with a turret and with one, two uh, internal spindles, or you can e equip the machine with a turret and an OD spindle and an ID spindle, if you want. So it's, it's really a flexible machine.